So, Pedro Koopa, what is everyone doing now in their spare time in the Traptanian Void today? Well, Ludwig, since you asked, let's just, let me just explain what everyone's doing. Your siblings are currently worshipping Thomas, and Wendy has become the has become this pr become the priest of their new religion, Thomas and Thomasism. Okay. So, does anybody have any offerings to our great lord? Uh, I didn't know you were supposed to bring anything. Well, he doesn't really need anything that important, right? I, I mean, uh, you do need stuff really important. I'm sorry. I'm just, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh. Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. are currently admiring photos of Mangle, Woody, and Robot Master. But since these two were apes, they have very little knowledge of who these characters are. The Yoshis are just doing. Two of them are doing. Uh, are being. Are just sad that they left their team. And Orange is just being the hoodie as usual. I heard that. Blooper and Mr. Bullops have this. Are now ha are in this grudge against each other, because you know Blooper was eliminated, while Mr. Bullops had a movie on uh, the episode that Blooper was eliminated. Amy is currently beating the crud out of Sonic. Oh, why? Because he voted me out, you jerk. Ah! Foxy is just practicing his running, his running for the ultimate custom night. Okay, let's do this. Peach is uh, chilling. Surprisingly, thought she'd just, you know, be wondering a way to get out, but nope, she's just chilling. Yep. And the three miscellaneous characters are just being social outcasts because. They don't fit into the rest of us because we all belong to a respected series. Well, they're just miscellaneous. And that pretty much wraps up uh, all that all everyone all that's everyone's really doing on their spare time. No one's trying to figure out a way to get out of the trapped Hadian void. Everyone's either sad, minding their own bees beeswax, or just angry. Oh. So, dry bones. What's life like in Plush World Underworld? Well, well Kamek, uh, for, yeah, for the for the, for the most the part, most it's, part like, it's like it's uh, like good uh, times, times, you know, good times ride by, by all. But then there's, then Betty. there's Betty. Betty, you know, you Betty, know, Betty. Queen, of queen of the Underworld. Of the underworld. Now, that now that she's, she's queen, queen, we just, we just do, do a bunch of work, nonstop. That's why I came here, so I can try to win a million dollars and hopefully get away from. Ah yes, Betty, the queen of the underworld, ruling everything with it with a pink soul and some sort of wisp thing. Hey guys, well, hey guys, you're just, you're just, we just came over here so we can watch the latest episode of Where Are My Pants. It's it's a really funny comedy. You guys should watch it with us. Yeah. Okay. I don't have that much thing, that much stuff to do. Bring on, Bring on the comedy. The comedy. Okay, folks, we're back for another episode of Where Are My Pants, starting Jamonke. Ah, oh, yes, honey. We finally settled into our room in Cancun. Now we can finally just relax and take a nice vacation in this wonderful resort. Indeed, Paul. It seems like we can finally forget all the troubles we've had back at home. Yep. No more of you asking where your pants are. It is this is the life. Oh yeah, honey. When I when I was unpacking my suitcase, I noticed my pants weren't there. So I have one question to ask you. Where are my pants? What? You're the one who was supposed to pack your pants. Why did you not pack them? Oh, I wasn't the one who was supposed to pack my pants. Remember 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 a week before vacation? Hmm. FLASHBACK! <laughs> Honey, remember to pack my pants for vacation. I don't want to forget them. How do you suppose... How do you expect me to... To hear what you said while I was sleeping? And how do you expect for me to remember what you said? Hippos have a better intelligence than monkeys. So, I have to ask you this one last time. Oh, no, forget it. I'm going to the pool. <laughs> oh, why is it so funny every time? Well, Cheep Cheep, the reason that show is funny is because after that little snippet you guys watched, it is time for Prize or Demise! Prize or Demise time! Okay, I'm generally confused on this Prize or Demise now. Since Barry McStary is gone, there isn't really anyone to really hate in this team. Everyone seems to be pretty good, so 
I'm actually really confused on who's going to be eliminated. Obviously, it's going to be Toad again, because he does not deserve to be here. Really? Really? I thought I was done with all the hate, but at least there's... Well, of course, there's still some haters out there. Toad, the only reason I, vo I voted... For, I didn't vote he in, prize, in that tiebreaker last time you were at for elimination is because I hated Foxy more than you. Guys, can, can we just calm, calm down? down? Let's just get just the prize, get prize in your mind so we don't... So we don't have to... So we, have to, so we know so we who's going to be eliminated. Thank you, Phantom Foxy, for getting everyone to shut their mouths so we can finally start prize or demise. This time, we got a total of 17 votes. Two less than last time, and if you're safe, you get a shoe. Whoever does not receive a shoe will be eliminated and put in the respected trap and be eliminated. I think I already said eliminated already, but who really cares? Half of you only got zero votes. Because, you know, reasons. Because the chicken, you are safe with zero votes. Yeah! I get to live! And hopefully Toy Chica does too! Golden Freddy, you were also safe with zero votes. Oh, the boot my nose. Luckily it doesn't fall like Freddy's. And Toy Chica, you're also safe with zero votes. Yeah! Oh, the new colliding with each other again! So, let's get rid of the elephant in the room. Person with only one vote. That's the elephant in the room. That witch being Phantom Foxy. Oh. Also, person who voted Phantom Foxy, you were wrong. Phantom Foxy did not. Phantom Foxy was not the person who didn't know that Oct which way Octo was coming from. Toad wasn't the one who knew who, which way Phantom Foxy, which way um, Octo was coming in, la in the last challenge. So, yeah. Anyways, bottom two. Phantom Foxy. You, you are in the bottom two because you have hated Foxy your entire life, causing lots of people to have some sort of hatred to you now. Mainly A&N Productions. He does not like you now. I just have one thing to say to A&N Productions. Does it look like a care? No! And Toad. We all know why you're in the bottom two. Because people have a large hatred to me. I'm not FNAF. I'm the odd man out. That's pretty much it. Final shoe goes to... Toad with only five votes. <laughs> yeah! I live, I live. Do that toe dance. One time, Foxy. You are eliminated with 11 votes. You are a tech element, so you're time to say goodbye to your team. Look, viewers. I'm fine it, of being eliminated. If it's, you know, being voted off an island, going someplace that's not near Foxy. But if it's going to a trap with Foxy in it, I pass. No choice, Funtime Foxy, you're going to the trap. Not if I run for it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Why me? Funtime Foxy, you made it! Uh, why? Funtime Foxy, trapped. Well, at least the uh, Foxy hater is gone. So I guess everyone has no reason to be eliminated now. Oh, the new Stay Together! <laughs> Contest that won in the phony poll was the Speed Run Mania. So that, so that means one volunteer for each team hat will have to run as fast as they can to get to the goal. Hooray for the Edge Lord, as he will do triumph for this team. Hooray for Edge Lord! I ran in some of my boss battles in New in, New in the New Super Mario Brothers series, so I guess I should go. Good luck, Iggy. See me rolling. And Hayden, controlling and trying to catch me right and dirty. Maybe a good fighter, but I think but I think flying is the way to go in the speedrun challenge. I don't have a heavy backpack anymore, so I guess running should be a breeze for me. The rules and guidelines for this challenge is that each 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 the, each person will run run to the run to the fox as fast as they can in reverse alphabetical order. So that me that meaning Toad is up first. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Three, two, one, 
Go! <laughs> Your estimated time was 25 seconds. So, yeah, congratulations on that. Lord the Edgehog is up next. I can do this pretty well. The rocket skates can do anything. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Your estimated time was 14 seconds. That is a record that somebody has to beat. Next up is the name that you should know, Kirby! Three, two, one, go! Kirby, your estimated time was 22 seconds. So Toad, so Wild Hot is uh, currently in last place. Next up is Iggy Koopa. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Keep going, Iggy. <laughs> oh man, this is so hard. <laughs> Your estimated time was 20 seconds, so you're third to last. Hey, we're not last. Oh, I'm tired now. Ugh. Next up is Flamberg, which everyone finds attractive for some reason. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Burning like fire! <laughs> Flamberg's your Flamberg, your estimated time is eight seconds, so you're now in the lead. Hmm. A worthy opponent to take into the world. Last up is Bullet Bill! Alright. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Bill, your estimated time was 12. So, you... The Goopy Troop was the last team to go up, but... Bazelhawk cannot lose two times in a row, so... The lo person, the team that's going up for elimination is the team that's in second last place. That team is another name than that. Sorry, Kirby, your team lost. Well, yeah. But luckily, you get immunity for, for actually participating in the challenge. Booyah! Ah, Luigi, someone was actually able to beat the Edgelord Shadow. Wow, I guess you could say that Shadow is... at least, like, something now. Shut up, I'm still the Edgelord, and you respect me. Yes, sir! Guess what, guys? The Wheel of Fortune's back to working again so we can use it again on a more powerful laptop. Waddle me, if you please. Double elimination this time! We haven't had those in a long time. Ah, oh, just what I needed. Just a double elimination. Now that two people, two more members are going away, if we lose one more challenge, our team is going to lose the entire game. Well, best of luck to everybody. Except for the Yoshis, because you guys are not superior. You guys don't, you guys just hit squat. Harmful. Very harmful. Indeed, very harmful. Very harmful indeed. Oh, in the poll in the description, who deserves to be eliminated from another name than that? Whoever receives the most votes will leave the show. And also, don't go for Kirby, because he is immune. Wearing my pants has to be, like, the best show in the entire universe. Exactly. You know, I'm gonna write, an, I'm gonna write a, you know... A message to the pro to the producers, telling that they should, you know, make 70 seasons. Yeah. Let me start this letter off strong. <gasps> okay. 
Dear Pesky Plumber.